Hey guys, what's up? Misha from GGD here, and today I'm going to show you how I use our groove packs to inspire some ideas. So, uh, Matt actually just put out the Helper and Grooves 2 pack, and it's got some really awesome grooves in it. So, I figured I'd show you guys. I actually don't really do this very much, to be honest with you, because I'm so used to just programming everything. Uh, myself, but actually I had a, a lot of fun uh, messing with this um, and, and I found it actually pretty inspiring so maybe it's something I should mess with a little bit more to be honest because uh, I feel like I got some good results. I put together like a, a little demo uh, but I deleted everything because I figured I'd just put it together in front of you right now. I took some notes on some grooves that I like and it's a pretty simple idea but let's just see how it all comes together so um, you know First off, if you have the, the, the groove pack, it'll show up here, you know, if you have the, the kit. Um, we're using the P4 kit because it's nice and compatible with that. You have your songs here and then you have all these various grooves here, right? Now the important thing to note, um, I'm at 120 BPM, so this is actually going to make all these beats uh, 120 BPM. You can see that the BPM here are sort of the recorded tempos so you know something that is at 120 will actually sound appropriate uh, and 200 BPM or 220 like that's actually half speed but then you have this uh, 2x function which uh, can sort of get you closer to the intended tempo um, but these are obviously just guidelines and um, the, the song, I, I didn't really pick the grooves based off of the tempos. I was just, just sort of listening through. Um, so anyways, let's uh, let's jump right in. I took some notes here. So song seven, groove six. I seem to like that one. So let's listen to that. Song seven, groove six. Figured that was a nice little verse groove. And um, I just took some notes so that you guys wouldn't have to see me sort of digging through this in real time. But that's basically how I found these, was just sort of digging through and seeing what might spark some uh, inspiration. Um, so yeah, Song 7, Groove 6. It's got this nice uh, ride pattern. So uh, we made this nice and easy. Once you pick your groove, you just click on it here, and then you can just drag it onto your MIDI track, and bam, there it appears. So I'm actually using uh, the, the, the default mapping here, which means that um, some of this stuff may not line up to my actual map. I'm actually going to try and do this without even entering the drum map, uh, just to show how sort of out of the way this can be for writing. So, uh, okay, we've got this here, right? That looks pretty good. Um, now I've got... Um, XFX going on this sort of patch here. I was messing with this idea. So let's get that uh, recorded to this. Let's see if I can get it rather quickly. So that's one take and you know might as well double up on this and you know what we can do we could just make this a groove because we've got a fill at the end here right so let's just sort of make that go three times like that let's get the other side of this and let's use the fourth position the other side
I like that. It sounds like it's building into something here. Um... Why don't we go into the section that it would build into? So, um, I think I took a note. Song six, groove one. So you can see how easy that is. It's got some good energy there. Um, so picked uh, song six groove one. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, so that's like a big uh, sort of rock groove there, right? And I think one thing I did. Oops. Let's put that on the grid. Let's double up on that. I think one thing I did to just throw up this repeat a little bit, because you could do things like this, song two, groove 13, is I just threw one measure of this other thing. Yeah, just to kind of give it a little bit of a different feel on the third repeat. So I basically want to get a heavy version of this riff going. So let's get those layers going. going to Let's get some uh, big, dirty octave guitars. I think that's what I had going there. Dirty effing octave. That sounds like that. So, just sort of follow root notes on it, make it nice and heavy. Since that's the same thing twice, we could just 
Chop that in half. You guys don't need to watch me track extra stuff. We could just copy paste. All right. So let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> get some bass on this round this out with a little bit of bass uh, do we start with heavy stuff or clean stuff I need you guys to vote real quick okay heavy stuff cool Up the ending there, let's just punch that in. Cool. Let's see how that sounds. Let's get the clean bass going here. Probably just kind of play off that same progression. Oh, that's smart. Turn off the click. Let's add another groove to this. Let's go with song eight, groove two. That's why I'd be on my list. All right, that's a nice sort of driving hi-hat groove. And what we can do is we could just write bass to this. 
So. This is. Has this uh, really big linear fill. So let's do this again. And sort of extend the phrase by duplicating that and then just making that the big fill at the end. Should double that. Need some guitar, I think. And what if we do like kind of a lower gain chug, but with an octave? So check this out. Do this. I like this patch. <laughs> use that second position that we know and love. One take, both sides. And we can just... <laughs>
cool, right? Anyways, hopefully you can see how these GGD grooves, these MIDI packs, can be a very creative tool. I had a lot of fun putting this together, as you can see. Kind of rushed through this uh, for time's sake, but uh, I think this is a pretty cool little idea. And it all stemmed from just jamming around with these loops. So I hope that you guys pick this up and have some fun. Post up the cool ideas that you guys come up with with our grooves. That'd be awesome. Tag us in them. Tag me in them on Instagram. I'll repost it. I love that stuff. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>